tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma! Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun. And be safe. Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! Monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a minute. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me too. Something seems fishy here. But Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park! Deal. Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why the sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! That's the way to town. Hello, I'm Rollo. Who are you? Nice to meet you, Rollo. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. Let's hear a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock-knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock-knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana again? Ha! <laughs> Good one! 
I've got a whole bunch of gut busting knock knock jokes. That's just a sample. Thanks, but we don't need one now. How about a riddle? What kind of fish sleeps in a stable? I don't know. What kind? A seahorse. <laughs> There are loads of knee slappers where that came from. Thanks anyway. We don't need a riddle now anyway. How about a pun? Well done. That's rare for this medium. Spare me. Uh oh. Ha. There's more than meets the eye. That's just a sample. Thanks anyway. We don't need a pun now anyway. How much do your jokes cost? Three purple sea urchins each. Okay. And if the joke you buy doesn't satisfy you 100%, you can bring it back and trade it for a new one. Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish and this is my best friend Luther. Who are you? My name is Al B. Cor. I am in the business of card trading. Pleased to meet you, Albicor. Look at the trading card. Hey! That's my roof! Your roof is made out of a trading card? Until I get one like this top-of-the-line cone-shaped roof! Yes, that's my roof! Oops, uh, we'll put it back. Maybe we can help you find an orange cone-shaped roof. Then I wouldn't need this hokey trading card roof. My home is my castle, and a little privacy is all I ask for. It's a purple sea urchin. Good eye, Freddy. Hi, Casey. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Luther. What's going on? Same old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is missing its lens. That must make things difficult. Far near possible. Maybe we can find you a microscope lens. That'd be great. Then I could continue analyzing these food samples. Thank you. 
Maybe I can jump across those geysers to reach the purple sea urchin. I can't, I, I can't jump across more than one guy. Two, um, um, one, two, 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 I got it! Way to go! Looks interesting. It sure is. I use the drills in here to whip these tetras into shape. What do you mean? I lost my medal, so the tetras had some trouble respecting my authority. Having that book gives me some clout. So if we got your medal back, would you need the drill book anymore? Uh, nope, you could have the drill book if I had my medal. It's Metalmania! I love this game! How do you play it? Well, it's really easy. We both have some schools of fish. I hide your fish, and you hide mine. Then we take turns and try to find the hidden fish and feed them. Whoever feeds all of their fish first wins. Okay, I need to hide the schools of fish. That's right, Freddy. You can rotate them, too, to make it harder. Just press the play button after you've hidden all of the fish. I need to hide Luther's fish so he can't... We've got a case to solve. Let's get back to business. You've got a lot of trading cards here. Yes, and I have got a don't touch policy. Unless you want to make a card trade, that is. Okay, I understand. Just let me know which card you are interested in. And when you have a card to trade, we can make a trade. I see. Door's locked. It's a, it's, it's a barber pole. What are you playing? <laughs> Jugs. You're good. Not as good as it should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. I love jug band music. This isn't even music. Glass bottles can't hold tune. Why are you using it? Because I'm missing one jug. If I had a jug, I wouldn't need this glass bottle anymore. Hi, our 
super pretty fish. And this is my friend Luther. Hi there! My name's Kimmo! It's a taffy making machine! Yum! Vanilla! The thriller of vanilla! Do you eat a lot of taffy? I love all this stuff! Can't you tell? Taffy is more nutritious than they have you believe! Really? Sure! You can just blend the other food groups right in! Easy! It says free taffy! Free... It says... I've heard of taffy pools, but never taffy throws. Let's catch it next time. Okay. The claw machine game costs one purple seed. I'd love to try to win something from the claw machine. It only costs one purple sea urchin to play. The claw machine game costs one purple sea urchin to play. Hello there, I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet ya, Earl. I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. That's not going to do me any good. You look like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins. My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. How many purple sea urchins for the glue? For you, one purple sea urchin. That's quite a bargain for ultra fantastic elastic glue. I can offer you top of the line! Ultra fantastic elastic glue! Here you go! Thanks! We'd like to talk with the mayor, if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number three fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. 
I'm so absent-minded these days. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it. If you'd like. What dears? Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. Phew. Which key should I try? Let's try this key. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! There! The keys are on the hook, so Clyde knows right where to find them. And I see fin picks already! Must be the fin pick Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. <laughs> That's not going to do me any good. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. Ooh, you're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course, I'll only be a moment. All done. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid, splendid. You look so handsome, Mayor Marlin. You're a smart girl. You see, looking good is part of my job as a public figure. All eyes are on me. I'll have to remember the dish soap trick. Clyde is a genius in his field. Can you work some magic on me, Clyde? I need a new look. Oh, Luther, your look suits you fine. Unless you were thinking of adding some color. A splash of red will look gorgeous against your green. I don't think we have time for that today. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Could I get my purple sea urchin back, please? Okay, then. Here you go. Let's hear a riddle. What kind of... That's not 
not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. That takes a lot of discipline. Yes, ma'am. I call it tough love. Every drill is here in this drill book. Tough love? Hmm. Going to do mean. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. Huh? All right. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Officer Beverly will let us into Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Whoa! The permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. You don't say. Well, I'll be. Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. Another purple sea urchin! We're getting rich! What's this? Yuck! It smells horrible! Look at the size of the bite taken out of it! That's just what I was thinking, Luther. The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. We're hot on the money. 
monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample analyzed. Those metals and kids are gonna ruin my grand plan. Could you please take a look at this food sample we found in Coral Cove Park? Interesting. It appears to be sea monster food. I can't verify that until I find the missing lens to my microscope, though. Luther and I will find your missing lens, Casey. Great! Then I can analyze that food for you and tell you exactly what it is and where it came from. Isn't there anything else you can tell us about this food sample? Afraid not. Not until I have that lens to fix my microscope with. Oh yeah! You still need that lens, don't you? I sure do! mean business. There are too busy practicing drills to notice us. We need to find a way to steer them away from the doorway. A purple sea urchin just waiting for me to come along. First! Whoa, this jug is broken. We're going to need glue to get all those pieces back together. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. Glue is great, but I need to put the pieces in the right places. We're getting somewhere now, Luther. That piece won't fit there. Good one, Freddy. That piece dropped right into place. That piece fit perfectly. Good one, Freddy. That piece dropped right into place. We're getting somewhere now, Luther. There. All done. Like new. Look at that mud skipper jump from puddle to puddle. He sure looks like he's having fun. Look, 
Hello there. It's a pair of glasses. I wonder how we... Good job. We made it. That wasn't so bad. It's a pair of glasses, all right. Do I look smarter, Freddy? Way smarter, Luther. You know, someone may have lost these. Let's put them away for safekeeping. Whoa! attracted to my magnetic personality. in there. That's just what the guy in the card house is looking for. We need to get it for him. Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first. Here's a way into the shipwreck, but this door is locked. Are you sure? Yes, we need to find another way in. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. Hello? Is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. It's all cool. Except that the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into a clam's mouth. And now I'm trapped here. Maybe we can get the bolt out of the clown's mouth and help you fix the sign. It'd be real hip if you could get a wrench, too. You'll need that bolt and a wrench to fix the sign. Hey, Freddy! That reminds me of a riddle! What do you call a styrofoam fish who can perform operations? I don't know. A plastic sturgeon? <laughs> Did you see that? You made the clam laugh, Luther. Maybe we can get the bolt back while the clam opens up to laugh. Whatever you can do to help me out of this heinous situation would be appreciated. We're happy to help. I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Here's another purple sea urchin. You're still one short. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. Good 
good times. Here's your riddle. You can always exchange it for another joke. I'll remember that. Thanks. What's worse than being with a fool? I don't know. What's worse? Fooling with a bee! <laughs> I guess the clam didn't like your riddle, Luther. We need to tell it a different kind of joke. I'd like to trade my joke for another one. No big whoop. Which kind would you like? Knock, knock. Who's there? Pudding. Pudding who? Pudding on your pants before your underwear is a bad idea! <laughs> Good one, Luther! I got the bolt! That's not going to do me any good. Bolt in the place. Like a wrench? Right now? I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the Jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this Jug? Hooey! Of course. Here, take this glass bottle. Thanks. That's 
not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. Look at that much! in the tide pools out there by those mud skippers. How can you see your maps? I've made do with this microscope lens. That's terrible. If you find my glasses, I'll be able to read maps again. I think we might have something you could use. Thanks. Here are your glasses. My glasses? My glasses! I can see! I can see! Thank you! May we have the microscope lens? Yes! Please take that thing out of my sight! My glorious sight! Thank you! No! Thank you! That did the trick. I can see through my microscope again. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. This food is highly unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in tetra caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Mm hmm. Just as I suspected. Come to think of it. Look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. right now. Those Tetras aren't moving out of our way. What's plan B? Well, if we want to go through that door, we need to steer those Tetras out of the way. I don't think I need that right now. Look at that mud! I don't think I need 
that right now. That's not going to do me any good. I can take on that sea monster! That's not going to do me any good. Those Tetris mean business! They're too busy practicing drills to notice us. We need to find a way to steer them away from the doorway. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. Your uniform. 